Okay, so I'm going to show you how to download and install the Viewboard 2.0 whiteboard software. First thing you need to do is you're going to go into the interactive TV folder and you're going to find Viewboard Setup 2.0.zip. Double click and it will open up this page, at which point you come up to download, one click. If it says can't scan, that's okay, just click download anyway, it is safe. At this point, your download will go and it will open up down here in your toolbar down in the bottom. I already have one ready to go. And once it's ready and download, you click on it and this folder will open up. Double click Viewboard Setup 2.0, the application, and this will immediately start loading your Viewboard software. It takes a couple minutes to load up. Don't worry about it. Give it the time. The download itself is takes about 10 minutes, depending on the speed of the internet. Okay, um, if you get in the corner, this warning, that's okay, K, click yes. This software is safe and trusted. From here, the 2.0 software will begin extracting and removing itself. First thing you do is you select your language, English, and then you start the setup. Click Next, click Install. This will automatically install in a folder, and then the files will begin to install. This is pretty automated, it's pretty straightforward, it's very fast. It takes about two or three minutes to actually install the entire folder. Okay, at this time, it will start to encode Windows Media Encoder 9. This is required software that it will load as well. Um, once again, this takes about a minute or two, and once it's complete, you'll be able to click Next. So it should take about a minute or less. You can already see that the Viewboard icon is already loaded on your desktop and ready to go. It's just going to load up the final little pieces, and when it it's finally loaded, we'll be able to click Next and go to the next part of installation. And now, once you get to that part, you click Finish, and now you can go and double-click on your software, and it will open up Viewboard 2.0, which you can now use on your laptop.